Have you ever thought about going on a trip? You get to a point in your life and you think, I need to change the scenery. I need to take a break. However, the guy that I want to talk about today, <laughs> he, he had that idea, but not the way how normal people would, would, <laughs> would go. Why did you go to Afghanistan? Well, <laughs> um, good question. I don't even know. Um, why well, did? I kind of thought, mm, uh, what's the most fun country I could go to that isn't kind of boring? As in, you know, there's some excitement in there and it's different. Because I don't want to go to another, you know, London or uh, you know, even Spain. Um, so what I did, I googled the 10 most dangerous countries in the world. And then I used that as like a shopping list. By the way, I do not abide by people who would encourage or outright harass people. You know my rule, keep your hands and arms inside the fuck bus. So he posted on 4chan, as you do. This guy decided to pop down to Afghanistan for a few days, never been before, just goofing off and soaking in the sun. Seems more peaceful than London to me. That's f so they ask him for timestamps and, and for photos to verify this, you know, because it's just like, it's so fucking bizarre. Who the fuck goes to a war zone? War. It's fantastic. So people are shooting in the air, babies are screaming, um, women just running around, you know, in burkas. Um, everyone's fighting, there's like things on fire. It's basically anarchy, right? Um, so it's pretty based. Oh, Jesus. What a mess. Troops are out. This guy's there in the Taliban or on their way. So he posts a, a picture of his bank card or credit card uh, with the details scribbled out, of course. And the caption, the caption reads, uh, If the Taliban kidnap me, the plan is simple. I'm legally, technically a lord. Bought fake certificate, wore a suit in the bank and talked the talk. So it says, Lord, on all my bank cards, the Taliban may see that as reason enough to keep me alive, thinking it may hold some negotiating power, as they w think I'm important. Let's hope it won't get to that stage, though. Oh, fuck. Dude, they will not give a shit. And uh, uh, here's the thing as well. Like, here's the, here's the other thing. Tickets are non-refundable. Therefore, I either stay permanently in a grave... Or I'll leave in the 19th as planned. Just the Afghanistan uh, grind set. Is it worth it putting your life on the line to, to go on a trip to a war zone? But he went and he can't come back until the 19th. Um, and there's a, there is a picture of him with some artillery, but or, no, like a, well, it's a gun, isn't it? A very famous picture that now. Uh, just want to reiterate my confidence. The intelligence agencies show that the capital may be taken within 30 days. You doubt! You doubt, bitch, you doubt! He really thought the city would, would be alright for a few weeks at best. And it just fell within a few days. Shit. Uh, so in here he talks about, My room is nice. It's hidden off the street and barricaded with several steel doors and checkpoints with guards. I've got a 32 inch fat TV. I've got AC which works surprisingly well. Double bed. And the mattress is rock hard but apparently that's the custom here. I kind of like it. Uh, I've got a private bathroom and I get breakfast in the morning if I want at no charge. They also offer takeaways, checked Uber Eats for shits and giggles and nothing. So I got some last night, very good and cheap. So he seems to be, he seems to be having some fun. It's shits and giggles apparently. People say my situation is bad, but as uh, what? People say my situation is bad, but us Westerners pay. Five dollars or pounds for a cancer-inducing fast food burger, but this whole meal costs less than one dollar or one pound. You may have no idea how good it tastes. Get a taste of the good life and come down to Afghanistan, me lads. We can have a night on the town. So this was on, I guess, the 15th. I don't know. Country in anarchy. Saw a few dead in the car crash. Military's fleeing and only a few braves stay. Embassy is closed, so I walked it to the airport and am safe. We'll find the British representatives and get a flight out. Got into my hotel, heading to Embassy, covered myself in a burqa. Which is... Like, by the way, I just want to quickly say, fucking... Dressed in a fucking burger, so this guy... He's doing some like it hot. So they couldn't tell I was a white guy. 
embassy closed, so I walked almost an hour to the airport. I took off the burqa halfway and I'm wearing a headscarf trying to find the British ambassadors. I'm safe at the airport, however. Short response for now, only essential talk. I will update with time. Jesus has saved me, I hope. I will either die a man or leave with giant balls. Fucking hell. Uh, so, uh, this is where I think things took a turn. Can't find someone at the airport that knows what's going on or how to get out. There are no representatives here, I think. One said there is no flights to. Will I have to wage guerrilla war? He spelt that fucking wrong. Will I have to wage guerrilla warfare across the Taliban until I reach another country? <laughs> and this is the, I think this is the the um, the meme that that's that's come out of this. No more flights in Kabul. I'm stuck in Afghanistan. <laughs> Bit of a pickle. Hey, fucked up. Now you fucked up. I saw the Taliban enter the airport. <laughs> they saw me, but kind of didn't care. I'm going to. I'm going back to the safe house. I'm. I'm using that loosely because I know the safe house is like a. It's like his hotel or something. Plan to is to wait to see if any flights resume. Good luck. Uh, and there's a picture in temporary housing. Still better than my uni accommodation. Ha ha. I will live stream soon, but I just need to get into Western clothes. Drink some water. It's all good in the hood. A hey, oh, dude. So Remy, Remy's like recorded this and he's, he's edited all the clips to a video that he's put out and it, yeah, like the video is entertaining, I'll, I'll, I'll probably put a link below or a little thing in the top corner on, on the right, is it coming up now? There's the link there, some time has passed, there is confirmation, there was fears of him passing from this mortal plane, as of 8am AFT Miles is still alive and posting his Facebook Starting a new 4chan thread as well, but harder to judge if that's actually him. Still at the safe house, it seems airport in Kabul is chaos right now. Yeah, you want to see the fucking chaos that's going on? In the middle of the presidential palace. This is what desperation looks like. Although this is embarrassing for Americans, it is terrifying for many Afghans. There you go. There is the chaos. People running after planes and people trying to cling on to the plane on the outside. Uh, safe house location has already been has also been revealed by a third party. He messaged. Not exactly safe if people know where it is. Congratulations. You played yourself. I'll be given body body armor, emergency evacuation right now to a better place as all compounds are to be abandoned. I'm with the best of the best. Like update for Miles, he's been evacuated. Whether that means from Afghanistan or from his current safe house, unclear. Three smaller propeller planes lifting off from Kabul. Getting five people calling me at once. Sorry, I can't answer, but I'm fine. Got evacuated at four-ish. It's 2 a.m. now. With 100 or so other civilians, couldn't message as there were cars emitting signals that would set off bombs. If <laughs> it blocked my AirPods from connecting, so I think it blocked all Wi-Fi and data. The Taliban let us go for the airport and we met many of them. Very long transition period, but everyone was smiling and waving at one another. Some took selfies with them. I slept on a dirt gravel road and woke up as cars went by. We're in a safe house and we're all hydrated, happy and ready for a few hours of sleep. Just sounds amazing, doesn't it? No internet, so I don't know if this will post, but I've got on a list for Dubai and maybe flying within a few hours. And then he managed to get on the fucking flight. On the flight out, we weren't allowed any liquids at all. No razors and only one bag up to 10 kilograms. So everyone is tossing all their belongings into a pile. People are donating each other their items because they can't carry them. Some lads stuffed my body armor and bag with protein bars. Over 20 of them. 
very happy. Thank you, man. But like I said, there is a happy ending here. I found a bottle of decent Canadian syrup in the disposal pile and downed one third of the bottle before being searched. Happy days. How can you just drink that? Oh. So Miles did an oopsie, a massive uh, fuck up on his part. What happened was Miles said the name of an interpreter to a journalist and the journalist printed that. Because of that, the interpreter like went to holy fucking shit mode because Surprise, surprise, I don't think the Taliban liked the fact that interpreters were helping UK and US forces. So he, he, he reacts to this. Untrue, his location was never shared as he wasn't allowed into the safe house as an as he's Afghani. At the end of it, he called me a close friend. I've never endangered him. You said his name. You said his name to a fucking reporter. And the reporter was contacted by people, I assume from 4chan or any viewers, um, to... to get rid of the person's name in the article. You want his name also known. I don't think he would want his name known. He told me it'd be safe in Kabul, but when it became unsafe, he looked after me. He, uh, thank God. Uh, Miles stated in a live stream that his interpreter fears for his life and that of his family, privately revealing his identity to embassy workers to attempt to obtain a visa for protection. I understand the way the interpreter's name was published was not remotely close to that. And we come to the <laughs> conclusion of this fucking journey. Miles is safe in Dubai. Coverage shall hold here for now, for at least a while, unless something crazy happens. There is a video, there is a, a clip of him in a, I assume is like a, a plane or a tent in Dubai. Um, yeah, he, he's, he seems to be pretty much safe and that's the that that's where we are is it thrill seeking i don't know he look this fucking guy this dude wanted to wanted to play a stupid game and he got a stupid prize for it <sighs> however there's one thing that i can't fault him for and that's to the fact that he got out he got out of afghanistan <laughs> he's alive and well all right yeah so look if you enjoyed the video you enjoyed the video um if you like what you see, uh, I do other videos. Leave a like, comment, hit the hit the bell, all that shit. Smash the fuck out of that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Of course, don't forget to subscribe.